Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to describe about gastrointestinal absorption model construction. In my previous YouTube video, I discussed about the gastrointestinal absorption simulation using in silico methods. Let us have a background on this topic. Friends, construction of any model, particularly here we are discussing about gastrointestinal absorption, it starts from data collection. So this data collection may be from uh, different literatures and uh, the different uh, it may be from some experiments also so um, those we have to collect systematically then we must have some set of input parameters and these input parameters can either be experimentally determined or we can determine by some in silico method methods the common approach is to use literature reported values as initial inputs so we have a vast literature source and uh, all experiments we cannot perform ourselves it will be very much time consuming that is why in some cases we can take some data from the available literatures in model construction we find many literatures including different doses forms solutions, suspensions, immediate release as well as control release formulation and all four different classes of um, this BCS classes of drugs. We can construct both single simulation model or virtual trial mode. Now uh, this virtual trial mode uh, enable us to find out the intersubject variability which is similar to um, a clinical trial where we include many subjects to find out the differences among the individuals so such virtual trial uh, mode also we can construct in a uh, this uh, in silico model the simulation results are compared with actual clinical data in order to identify the model yielding the best estimation it means uh, whatever model we design its results we have to compare with uh, in vivo study data so then only we can say that our model is uh, how much uh, it is near to or uh, comparable to an uh, actual in vivo experiment let us see one example of model construction using gly glyclazide as a model drug which was used to develop mechanistic model and uh, simulation using gastro plus software the objective of this uh, model was to predict oral drug absorption for glycolazide the available literatures indicate that uh, the uh, drug is an ampholyte with uh, pH dependent solubility also it is a low solubility drug and it is completely absorbed after oral administration however the absorption rate appears to be slow and uh, variable Now to start the model construction as we have seen already that we need some set of uh, input parameters. So here uh, this uh, list of uh, input parameters and the values uh, which are used like a molecular weight which is a constant for the drug and log p value it is uh, determined uh, using some in silico uh, method many programs are available um, some are uh, free and some need some subscription using such uh, a tool the log p value was uh, determined then uh, pka that is dissociation constant of the drug uh, 
uh, in uh, different uh, medium was determined using gastro plus uh, value then uh, human jejunal permeability it was uh, used here 3.683 so it was determined by some in vitro method so here uh, a keko to cell line was used and using the cell line we determine the uh, permeability but for human use uh, the um, cell line value must be multiplied with a correction factor that we are coming in the coming uh, we will see in the coming slides then dose then uh, other parameters like uh, solubility at pH 4.37 it was experimentally determined so there are some uh, uh, gastro plus default value directly we can use and some values we can calculate in the gastro plus software itself and uh, some values we can take from the previously published literature and uh, certain values we can determine by some in silico method similarly body weight uh, this uh, fast pass effect blood or plasma concentration ratio uh, so here also some values are taken from the literature and some values uh, are already available as default value in the gastro plus software absorption skill factor so it is important uh, when we are constructing a model so this ASF value was calculated in program which is called as log d model uh, s uh, slash v 6.1 considering the full values for the absorption gradient coefficients c1 c2 c3 and c4 so this is a value is uh, uh, required uh, to calculate the permeability at different uh, compartments because uh, normally we determine the permeability using cell lines now the cell line values when we convert it to uh, human relevant values then we have to multiply it using a correction factor so uh, for dif in different compartments the permeability will be different so that is why we require a absorption scale factor uh, for a particular compartment then using this value multiply the uh, permeability obtained using the cell line the here in this model of glycolazide it was found that the resultant absorption profile based on the selected input parameters and default uh, c1 to c4 values were uh, different from the in vivo observed data therefore the absorption gradient coefficients and the asf values were adjusted using some optimization module available in the gastro plus so in this example a difference was found so it became a need to adjust the asf values and the gradient coefficients but uh, in all cases it may not be required if our uh, this uh, predicted values uh, are very similar with the in vivo observed data then our model is ready but if we find a difference then we have to optimize the input parameters and uh, other default values uh, here yeah we here this is a value uh, for different this uh, compartments uh, so there are nine compartments starting from stomach to colon in different compartments the permeability are different that is why the asf values are also different this is different so this value we have to multiply with the permeability determined using the cell lines so in this graph it is shown the uh, plasma concentration time profile of glycolazide using the predicted default values predicted optimized values and observed means the uh, clinical trial data or in vivo study data so predicted with the dotted lines 
default predicted and predicted optimized with a clear black line and uh, this uh, squares showing the observed data. The resultant ASA values in the small intestine adjusted to best fit the observed plasma concentration time data from for uh, glycolazide immediate release tablets were lower than gastroplus generated values. So this indicates that the there are some uh, there may be influence of uh, in efflux transporters on the glycolazide absorption through this part of the intestine. This is uh, an assumption and this assumption uh, was further supported by the fact that uh, GLK is a substrate of the allele uh, efflux tra transporter uh, MRP2 and MRP3 that is a multi resistant um, uh, protein, multi drug resistant protein. Therefore, majority of glycolazide formulated in immediate release doses form is absorbed in the duodenum and jejunum region. In other part of the intestine, there are some efflux tra drug transporter that is why in other compartments the absorption was less. So, the same thing is shown with this bar diagram. So, here you can see that in uh, duodenum and jejunum the percentage absorption is higher compared to other compartments. The predicted fraction of drug absorbed was 99.94% which is in accordance with the literature reporting almost 100% bioavailability of glycolazide after oral administration. The predicted and in vivo observed pharmacokinetic parameters rendered percentage prediction error of less than 10% for CMAX that is uh, maximum plasma drug concentration and AUC that is area under the curve values indicating that the model has predicted these parameters very well. So uh, always we try to find a percentage uh, prediction error we always try to keep this error as less as possible. Um, so. Uh, uh, less percentage of error indicates uh, more similarity or match between the predicted model and the actual in vivo data. The here the largest deviation was observed for Tmax which is due to variable uh, kinetics of glycolazide. The simulated value of Tmax 3.68 hour was considered a reasonable estimate. There are other similar articles uh, explaining model construction of different drugs. So here I have mentioned about uh, this minocylide model, carbamazepine model, silicoxib model, uh, levothyroxine sodium model, metformin hydrochloride model. In conclusion, we can say that the uh, ex present example of glycolazide illustrates that the uh, form of the generated absorption model highly depends upon the pharmacokinetic profile used as a reference. This emphasizes the importance of considering the widest possible range of literature reported and or experimental values of drug pharmacokinetic parameters in order to fully perceive model predictability. So here are some references. Hope this uh, video will help you to uh, understand <laughs> about uh, model construction and uh, uh, if you have any query you can uh, ask me in my email that is uh, dr.bk.pharmaclass at the red gmail.com. Thank you.